lines. Oh, well, I was wrong. All right, fair you, enough. You can be that's... confident in things that are incorrect. Yeah, that's fair. The world has that's, taught us that's, anything. That's very fair. Let's <laughs> use your TP. And I had a great conversation with Oduwame last week in his matchup against Bwipo, and he talked to me about they can move down first. The TP has come in from Abadage, and both teams posture around the Rift Howl. Shadow down to half HP already. Oduwame trying to come in. Abadage is going to come from the bottom side of the fight. Rift Hell down to 3,000. Arome jumps in, but the face breaker doesn't really catch too much. Dream jumping in on Kaiser as well. Shadow's down low. Has to use the smite really early as Arome gets the first kill. He's going to fall, but Rift Hell does go across towards Mad. Shadow secures it. Has the flash out of the back of the pit if he needs to. Trade. So in this situation, they will be able to yeah. get an easy objective. But as the game progresses, I he think... He's on his way down, but Lorux is there for the counter gank. Arome going in. Look for the face breaker. The Infernal Chains aren't quite going to pull him back. He was able to just get out of the side of it, but he's knocked back underneath the turret. Now he's taking aggro, and with the Haymaker already used, he can't get the shield. Good counter gank there. Of extra armor and magic is this here on this turret, but with Kazi there with the Rift Tower there should be a pretty easy take. Yeah, largely because it's t t uh, dictated by how many people are there. Um, yeah. And of course, because Kazi is by himself, Abadagi now getting very low. Carthus ulti doesn't, doesn't even, even need, it. need it. Easy enough stuff there. I feel that strong. But the game is only going to get harder. You've got to remember that Karthus in the later stages, very obnoxious. Um, the oh, they're TPing force. behind them. Abadage is going to run straight into the face of Humanoid, and now he might have to flash, puts down the Emperor to survive. The Blast Code keeps Humanoid in place, but the final auto attack's not quite enough. Lorx has to flash the wall as well as Dreams goes in with the dredge line. Not sure he wanted that fight. Moonlight Vigil comes out from Inax. There's the route to stop what's used by Dreams. Good knockback by Lorox as he tries to get out of the back. the opportunity to get some gold into his back pocket. He was just free farming in the top lane. Of course, multiple members of Mad on the bot side of the map. But Mad's going to trade this for an Ocean Drake. It feels at some point Shalka do need to take the imperative when it comes to your team fight. However, when he hits level 11, once he... He'll either go for a Leandries next, or he'll... How will Shalka look to play around that? It's going to be one of the big question marks. Mad Lions use the Rift Howard in the mid lane. They will break the tier one. You know, he's going to get it pretty easily by himself. Do want to remind everyone of exactly where these two teams stand. Of course, Schalke is sitting at 2 and 10. If they lose two games, they are out of playoff contention. HP left on the Baron. Mad starts to disengage. Arome down to half HP just from tanking this up. They don't know where Humanoid is. Schalke did not know where Humanoid was, but Mad Lions disengage and stop anything. Happening. So what were the results of that? Arome stayed with his team which means that he's not getting more farm, whereas Oduamne matched Humanoid, and now he's sitting at level 16. They're also able to confirm a mid-tier one, and Arome, while looking for a TP flank, will he's get spotted, spotted he's out, spotted, he's spotted. as Shalka goes straight for the Ocean Drake. So, this all benefited Shalka because Abadagi is still level 16. Shalka going to win this game. Mad have limited options. To Ooh, Abadagi not quite able to land that ultimate. Humanoid just going to be able to jump away. Humanoid is still down to half HP. Oduwame steps forward. There's the bullet time. Abadagi just about surviving. Is the Requiem enough? Dodges away from the show stopper. But now Lorox is going to pay with his life. Haymaker finds him. A punch to the back is enough. You've got to get in. You've got to get in. You've got to go. Shalka pull the trigger on the engage. There's the Moonlight Vigil onto Shadow. He's down to half already. And there goes Odo on the front line. The Infernum's going to rip through Mad. If only Inax can get the damage down, but he doesn't have enough. Shadow surviving Mad. Just about alive on the back line as Humanoid jumps forward. Locked up. Arome, though, with a great face. Breaker into Haymaker, keeps himself alive. Abadage goes in. This could be it. This could be the Penta. It's not. Mad Lion's able to lock him down and take and it. It would be soul for Schalke. But Mad aren't really going to let them have any of the map Schalke into it all. Whereas Mad have Shadow and Humanoid who can get out of a fight at a moment's notice. They need to keep that pressure up in the mid lane. They do have that wave which Inax is now catching. With numbers advantage, they can force onto this tier two but they don't want to overcommit. They've taken two towers. Maybe now's your best opportunity to actually go for a fight. Abadaga no. does still have the TP if he wants to come in. Humanoid has come back. They have pressure in the side lanes. They're getting turrets. They're getting a little bit of gold where they can. And that gold lead, it did uh, Stacks as well. Only Kaiser with one ward left, which means that this vision fight can't keep going on because the number of resources to wave for is limited. So a fight's going to start. Shadow down to half. The root comes out. There's the knockback, but Shadow goes the opposite direction. Orome is trying to jump into the back of the fight as Kazi steps forward. Orome holds up. Humanoid fighting against Oduwame off towards the side of this as he's about to fall, but he goes golden just at the right moment, just at the right second. And Lorax goes for the engage. He pops this stopwatch too is in. Stepping forward, Kazi not pulled back by the chains. He's able to survive. Mad lines looking for the TP flank as Arome does have the showstopper. But already the Ocean Drake's gone. They get the soul. It's secured by Mad. Lorax in the pit is melted in the 
heartbeat. And here comes Romain. Show stopper to all four of them. Kaiser jumps forward with Glacial Fisher. It's all on Inax. It's all on Abadagi. You've got to turn this fight around right now. Otherwise, with the Requiem coming out, you're just going to get taken out. Humanoid dies off towards the side. It's Inax and Oduwamle who get the kill. Will put themselves in the favorable position again. But Inax is here. He doesn't have the ultimate available. Does have Flash. Inax has the Cleveland and the Infernum. He could shred through Mad Lions in just a second. And here he goes. Kazi trying to put the damage down. Kazi wins that 1v1. But here comes Abadagi. Now, there's pins that they're flanked. Oduwamle jumps back into the pit. Orome almost falls. But look at the healing on him. The Ocean Soldier so much. Abadagi, you shuffled him the wrong way. Kazi able to survive for the second. But here comes Inax. That's one. They're looking for more. Inax, are you going to step forward? Because Oduwamle is there by himself. Cleveland doesn't hit from long range. Orome still tanking up. Shadow able to get back. And it looks like Shalka won't be able to find anything more out of this. They got hey, Winters by Orome looking for the steal. But Lorx is nowhere near this. That Elder Dragon's almost gone. And Mad will secure it. It's Kazi who takes it. And now they don't want to fight Mad now. Ocean Soul combined with Elder Drake. Yeah, oh, the TP, TP flank. Arome with the TP flank once again. Humanoid goes in. He almost Ooh. dies. He's shut down. Maybe that's what they needed, but Abadagi has been suppressed. Not back with the showstopper. And Arome smites him with the power of the Elder Drake. Inax in the middle of the fight. He's doing so much. He gets the Infernum. Kazi's down. Kazi's down. Arome trying to get him with a face breaker again. But Kaiser, look at the damage. Look at Shadow. He just takes down two in a moment. And now Odawamne is running for the hill. Could have actually won that fight and secured the Baron, but. You're seeing the power of this late game objective. Mad will use their elder to secure. Lasting one, maybe looking for a void staff because there's a bit of magic resist on the Mad Lion squad. We'll see. Kaiser pulled back with the chains. It's going to be pulled back with the chains. Is this it? Is the the connection they found? The death touch comes out, and one pick is all that Shalka wants. <laughs> wow. Out of the support is being pushed in favor of Shalka. The Sun Disc also going to guarantee that priority. If we could just have a very quick look at top lane, we can tell which direction it's going in. I think it's slow pushing in favor of Mad right now. But Mad are going to use their five members to be able to push in mid. Abadage and the squad, though, still holding on to this mid lane. Good poke onto Kaiser. Will regenerate, of course. But that bot wave still pushing underneath the tower. Elder Drake spawning in five seconds. This is a great situation for Shalka right now. Kaiser over the Warmox prop level, though, so he's going to regenerate even quicker. Even when the Elder Drake, the Humanoid gets pulled back. Death Charge comes out, only hits onto Humanoid. There's the showstopper from Morome as the fight really begins. Inax in the middle of the bullet time, and already Dreams is done. And now Shalka have to fight a 4v5. Kazi down to half HP. But can Shalka do it? Can they find the fight? Because Matt now have mid prio the tower to get this dragon. But Kaiser, he's going to act as a disruptor. There we oh, go. they're going to try to interrupt the bases. Down. They're going for the base race. They're going for the base race, Vedius. Can this is they quick. do it? Mad so quick on it. They're pulling the trigger. Inex trying to get back. Kaiser trying to do what he can. Uh, Badaga and Oduwam, they're already back. But already the first Nexus tower's down. And now Mad, they're on the Nexus. Oh, Shalka, not again. It can't happen to them again. Mad Lions walk straight through the front door and take the win over Shalka.